today we're uh, back to picking corn. Uh, me and my girlfriend got the combine moved over uh, to this uh, 10 acre piece and uh, started picking in there. Uh, I got truckloads so far and uh, getting this dryer back on here, uh, starting to fill it. Uh, we had some dry stuff in here, so we're running that out and uh, this stuff's all wet corn here. So it's just unloading the dry corn and then uh, filling it back up with the wet corn. Uh, the stuff's still around a uh, little over 20%, it's like 20.12, somewhere around there. So we don't have to dry it too much. Uh, just got to dry her down uh, about four to five points is what I was uh, wanting to do. So we're getting that dry now. Uh, my brother, he's up there power washing. Uh, he's cleaning up the silage wagons because uh, we need to get those put inside here before uh, winter comes. So he's got uh, the four. He's got to get washed up here. Then uh, he'll get those uh, put away probably today or tomorrow. And uh, my dad and uh, uncle are, are round baling that hay uh, up north here. Uh, I think there's about 20, 30 acres, something like that up there. So uh, they're round baling that today. Uh, they'll get that done. And uh, so today it's just me and my girlfriend. Uh, we're taking corn here. Uh, what I do is... Uh, pick a load and then uh, bring it home here and then go back and uh, pick another load. So it takes a little bit longer, but uh, this piece is a, uh, I think it's about a nine or 10 acre piece. So there'd be a couple truck loads off of it because it's doing a little over uh, 200 bushel of corn. So uh, be a couple truck loads, then I'll be in, uh, I think it's about a 15 acre piece. Then we'll grab the semi and uh, load it up out of there because uh, the piece I'm in now, I gotta go through a guy's yard, so I uh, really don't wanna take semi through his yard. And uh, next piece, uh, guy's got a, a pretty nice uh, open, I guess, uh, parking lot type uh, driveway. So we'll be able to take the semi in there and get it moved around. So we'll uh, take that once we get moved over there, but we'll just keep unloading this here and then uh, we'll get this unloaded and go pick some more. Uh, got uh, a little over 1,600 bushel off of it. 
and uh, on the monitor here it came up to be uh, seven acres, which I think that's what my dad said now that uh, monitor said that. So uh, made a little over, uh, I think that was two, uh, about 240 or two, two some, 230 something I want to say. So not bad for uh, the year, that's for sure. So uh, we're just pulling in here to the next piece here. Uh, got to drive through his yard because he's not home and uh, he's got his, uh, I guess, truck and trailer parked in the way here. So we're uh, just going to go in his yard. He said that was fine. So we really don't have any other option because he ain't home. So uh, we'll just start picking in here. I got the semi here, so I'll open up the field and then uh, we'll get uh, the semi backed in there and start picking this corn. So we almost got uh, this field done. I just got this one pass and then uh, I got uh, that row over there is a bunch of, uh, I guess it has like five on that and then narrows up because that's where my uh, dad finished up planting. So kind of had to go a little funny there. And then I got a little bit right over here up in the front. So we'll uh, get this picked and then uh, we're going to hurry up and move before it gets too dark here, uh, which we just got to go another, uh, I don't know if it's even a half mile down the road. So we'll hurry up and uh, get this picked here and then uh, jump down and then we got the three pieces right in the row that add up to about, uh, I think it's about 30, 30-ish 30 acres or so. And uh, so it ain't gonna take too long to do it, but it's just that it's a mess to get into because it's such a uh, it's such small field and picking off end rows and everything just takes forever. But we're uh, almost done here, so we'll get done with this and then uh, we'll go move. Well, guys, uh, moved into this little piece here. Uh, I think it's around five inch acres. Uh, usually this piece ain't the greatest. Uh, we usually just farm it just because it's right in line with uh, the other pieces and landowner, you don't want much for it. So we usually farm it whenever we get to usually profit off of it anyways. But this year the corn is just fantastic in here. It's uh, 220s and 240s in most spots. And uh, it's got good spots and bad spots, of course, but uh, it's usually pretty wet in here, which the front is still wet, but uh, and then there's a little swale you can see right through here, but then in the middle here in the bag, it's really good, and it gets up to 250, so it still should average right around uh, probably one, uh, 180, probably, because uh, there's more, there's a couple drowned out spots in the front is the problem. And uh, then stuff through here, it's only about a hundred, so really hurts the yield. But the good spots are uh, well over 200. They're just not enough of them to average out good, but still gonna average pretty good for the year anyway. So we're we'll take it. But my uncle, uh, he should be coming back with the uh, truck here pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, he only had a little dab. Well, I guess about three quarters truckload, so shouldn't take up too long to dump. But uh, we are a little bit farther away from home now, so it's gonna take them a little longer. But we want to get these little pieces knocked out tonight. Uh, that way the dryer can keep going, and uh, we don't have to mess around with these tomorrow. Hopefully, get into uh, some bigger pieces tomorrow. We'll have to grab the um, auger wagon that way I can keep going while uh, my uncle's dumping but hopefully we get these pieces knocked out which is, we should be able to and uh, they're all right in the row so trying to go down the road too far is that not too concerning but we'll just uh, keep going here it's almost five o'clock uh, so hopefully we can make some pretty good progress tonight and uh, get this stuff done Uh, we're in the 
so wet hole you want to call it there's trees and everything growing in it and uh we can't farm none of it and uh, it's awfully wet back there but yet it's fine throughout the rest of the field so it's kind of weird but uh we're beginning back there here but i'm trying to get it opened up here it ain't too fun here in the dark but uh my uncle he should be coming back here pretty soon and uh we'll uh get some of this uh get more of this stuff picked here well we're in the uh field here and uh, as you can see there's uh two power lines right there uh, it's a phone uh there's a pole right there the problem is is uh, they need more poles here these lines droop down so bad uh i can't hardly get in here i gotta go in right next to a pole where it's up high enough or else i uh i can't even come close to fitting underneath these but uh, that's what we gotta do we gotta dump over the power lines or phone lines to get into the trucks because uh, the auger don't go down low enough to fit underneath them so we're just dumping here uh there'll be a couple loads in here because i just got this end row i got uh, two more rounds here and then i still got the other end to open up and then there's all the long rounds here so we'll have a few truck loads in here but we'll just keep uh going here and uh, get this stuff done Unloading the last little dab, uh, finished up this field. Uh, it did about uh, a little over 200 bushel, about 215, so not too bad. Uh, didn't get moved to the uh, other little field like we wanted to, but it's uh, getting dark and getting kind of late and uh, getting a little tired, so we're gonna call our uh, quits for tonight here and uh, we'll get moved tomorrow. Plus, it's uh, we gotta watch uh, these uh, uh, phone lines, so we'll get that in the morning. But we'll uh, get heading home here, and uh, then I'll get you guys back out tomorrow. picked off and then uh, got a couple rounds there and then I uh, got the far end row 
Uh, got the combine full, or I think it's three quarter buzzer went off. Uh, the Mac, it's full, so I'm gonna take that home, uh, dump that, and then uh, we'll come back here and uh, keep picking, but there's uh, rain supposed to be coming in tonight. Uh, kinda hoping it doesn't, but can't stop it, so we'll see how much we get, but I got the trucks full here, so we'll get that started up here and get that heading on home. Yesterday I uh, didn't film too much just because uh, we were staying pretty busy because I was uh, picking and driving truck and uh, doing all that myself. But we got uh, the one piece finished last night which I think was about uh, uh, I think a seven, eight acre piece, something like that. Got that done, uh, got moved, got the uh, combine, auger wagon, all that stuff moved up there and uh, got, uh, I think it'd be about 16-ish acres out, and I think that side's a 30-something, and the other side's like a 25-acre piece. But uh, getting that done, uh, corn's doing really good. It's over 200 bushels, so that's good for uh, uh, the year. But got the uh, semi here, getting it unloaded. Uh, grain truck gets empty here. Uh, holding bin. Said, I think it had a, about a ring in there before he dumped the uh, grain truck in here. But uh, so I'll get the semi in here and that'll get uh, a couple rings in there and then uh, the uh, auger wagon is full too. But it uh, rained some last night. You can see uh, more so this morning. I uh, just kind of quit, but it was mainly just a kind of a light to heavy sprinkle. So. I don't know if we'll be able to pick corn or not, but we'll see. But we're going to get this uh, semi unloaded here and then uh, probably go get that auger wagon. So I'm in the uh, 7120 with the auger wagon, made it to the field, and uh, going to get dumped into the semi over there. I got to park them on the road because the uh, field's too muddy, but this is a side road, so it's really not busy. But I got all of this done last night uh combines right there and then we're over there so i'm about halfway done with this field but uh gonna try again a load to fill up the semi it uh rained a little bit more up here i'd say but not much uh the roads are already drying off so i'm gonna see if i can pick at least a semi load and then uh we'll go ahead and uh take her home and then uh we'll probably wait a little bit because uh, the dryer still uh, got some to go, but we'll get this uh, loaded up here and uh, get this headed home. Well, I made it up to the truck, but uh, it's a little soft in here. Uh, auger wagon's leaning uh, quite a bit. I'm almost in the uh, trailer there, so I'm gonna hopefully get some of this off of here and uh, get it picked back up out of this hole. But the problem is I'm in the ditch because uh, that's cattails right there. The county don't ever clean out any ditches, so this is all uh, just a bunch of uh, water standing and then you get grass and cattails and everything else growing in here and then you get uh, that. So it's uh, kind of a mess, but uh, I'm hoping I can get back out of here. So we'll get some of this uh, weight off here and uh, go from there. But it's uh, quite a bit of weight on the um, uh, auger wagon, so I think that's uh, why I'm leaning so so far over that away. So we'll get some of this off of here and uh, see if we can get back out of here. So I got the combine full here. Uh, we're just gonna finish off this uh, semi here. Uh, reach it a little easier because it's got a longer auger on it so we'll be able to fill this up a little easier I uh, got it most of this stuff's on this side I couldn't reach over any farther so I gotta fill this up some more looks fuller than what it actually is
wind is picking up as you can see it blowing all the dust and uh, it seems like it's drying stuff back out uh, it'd be nice if the sun come out which I think it is supposed to in the afternoon so hopefully get the uh, stalks the rest of the way dried out they got just a little bit of moisture still left on them but it's not really causing much problem but it is uh, if I keep going, I think I'll probably plug up the uh, sieves and everything inside the machine. So we're just going to pick this load and uh, head for home. Let the wind and uh, hopefully sun comes out and dries around a little bit more. So we're just going to pick this and uh, head for home. So got uh, going to have a pretty full trailer load it's looking like. dump the what well, little bit we got here in the auger wagon and then uh, we'll head for home just a little soft right here moved uh, to the next field uh, which is just right down the road uh, it's a, about a 20 acre piece I want to say and uh, got it all opened up got a uh, about probably five six rounds in the middle of it so we're uh, got a good start on it but got the uh, truck still full and then the semis up by the house there uh they're both full and uh holding bin it's about full too so we'll have enough to run all night and it's uh, about 4 45 or something like that so um we'll have enough to run all night long and uh, we'll put this truck in uh about uh probably 5 30 ish or something around there and then that'll fill up the holding bin about and then uh put the semi in uh probably put a little bit in uh before we go to bed but uh, right now, uh, gonna go hop on the dozer and uh, get that dirt leveled off back there uh, while it's still dry out. Uh, Want to get that done. So uh, we'll get that fired up and uh, start pushing some dirt. <laughs> 